Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to take you through a desktop tool to interact with the Azure Storage account called Azure Storage Explorer that we can download it from this link. But before that, let's go to Azure Portal and discuss do's and don't using storage browser. For simple use cases, accessing the storage account via Azure Portal is fine, but when you're working on a large project, it becomes tedious. For example, this web user interface doesn't allow you to upload folders. We can only upload individual files. Also, you can't see all your storage accounts in one place. You need to navigate to each of the storage account to see the files or folders in it. Azure Storage Explorer desktop version makes all of it a lot easier and offers many more features. In order to download the Azure Storage Explorer desktop version, you select a storage browser from the menu here and then click on the hyperlink here called Download Azure Storage Explorer. And that opens up the downloads page for Storage Explorer. You can also search using Google or Bing to find the URL. I'll leave this link in the course resources for you too. Select your computer's operating system from here and that downloads the software and you just need to install it. I have already downloaded the software, so let me open that. First time when you open, you won't see any storage accounts listed here because it's not connected to your subscription yet. In order to connect to the subscription, click on the account icon here and click on sign in with Azure. Leave the environment as Azure and click next. That opens up the browser and presents you with a sign in screen. Select the Azure account that you're using to create all your resources and key in the password. As it says here, the authentication is successful. Leave the browser tab open for now and navigate to the storage explorer. We've now successfully signed into our Azure account, but we need to select the subscription so that we can see the storage accounts. My subscription is under the default directory, so let me select that. If you haven't done any of the changes, you will also see your subscriptions under the default directory. So let's click on the default directory and select the subscription. In my case, it is free subscription. Once you've done that, you can either click on the Open Explorer or click on the Explorer tab here. So I'm gonna simply click on Open Explorer and that opens up my subscription. As you can see, I've got free subscription listed here and when I expand, I'll see all my storage accounts. So, as you can see, COVID Reporting Project SA is the storage account that we've created. As you can see, now I can interact with all the storage accounts. Like I would on a Windows Explorer. I can upload files or even folders to these containers. I can create containers from here, and I can copy files of folders even between storage accounts or within the storage account containers. As you can see, it's a handy tool to have in your workstation when you're working on a production environment so I would highly recommend you to download it. Even though you might not need this tool for your course project here, please download it and get familiar with the tool so when you're in a production environment, you will feel at home. So that's the end of this session. I'll see you in the next one.